Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube. And today we are reviewing a foundation that is made to sleep in. Let's get into it. All right, you guys, sometimes I fall for Instagram ads and this is one of those items that I saw an ad for and I was like, I have to buy this. There was just something inside of me that was like, this is the most interesting thing I've heard of in makeup. So I wonder if it's gonna be the most interesting item I've ever tried in makeup. Today we are reviewing the Euphoria Skin Tint Serum Foundation. Now this foundation is marketed as foundation you can actually sleep in. I'm gonna get into why I don't like this marketing and why I understand it's there. And also I don't understand how this is gonna work and also be healthy for you. We'll get into that. But the cool thing about this foundation is that it can be worn as a skin tint by using a sponge or your fingers or a medium coverage foundation using a brush. Now, if you're familiar with my foundation reviews, you know that I like to apply one side with a brush, one side with a sponge. So we're gonna be doing that today anyway. Now the Euphoria Date Night Foundation is made of plant-based ingredients and it is 68% skincare. Now it's supposed to control the sebum production of your skin on your skin. So it's not, you know, your oils are not breaking up the foundation and all that good stuff. So that's why technically you can sleep in it. And because it's 68% skincare, it's safe for you to sleep in. And they make the claim that dermatologists have approved them to be able to say that, that this is safe to actually sleep in. Now, I have not heard any other foundation marketed like that. I don't like that, and here's why. I understand that the foundation is super clean and made of wonderful skincare that's wonderful for your skin, right? But how many of us actually only wear foundation? Now, there might be days where you have skincare and then you have some places you would like to kind of correct before you leave the house, but as far as like sleeping in your makeup and also date night, usually you're gonna have, you know, a primer, concealer, powders, blushes, highlighters, eye makeup. You should never ever sleep in your eye makeup. It's so bad for your eyes. It's just, it's just not good overall. You're gonna have all of this makeup on, not just this clean, wonderful foundation, right? But if you're sleeping in your foundation, it's kind of like you're also sleeping in all of these other ingredients that are not good for your skin or your eyes. It says that it has a weightless texture that sinks into the skin like quicksand. <laughs> I don't know if that's, that's a, that doesn't sound good to me, but I get what they're saying. So it's not supposed to cake or crease or anything like that. It's supposed to look like one with your skin. This foundation is also supposed to have a glass-like finish. So think glass skin and a highlighter type effect. So I'm really curious to see if this foundation kind of like gives you an extreme glow, which would be interesting because if it's supposed to control oil, I wonder how you know, glowy it can be. I think the packaging is super cute. I think the brand overall is branded very similar to In Beauty. This is the foundation bottle, super cute, very youthful, euphoria, and just overall, yeah, it's kind of like cool girl makeup, you know what I mean? This foundation retails for $48. I got it on sale. I think they were having like a 20% off thing. So plus shipping, it was like around $40. So this is priced higher end. And this is why I fell for the ad, okay? So I watched an entire ad pop up on my feed and it was the creator, Fiona Chan. And she was talking about how she wanted to make a foundation that was just like the most luxurious foundation ever. So she told the lab that she was working with to just make the most skincare based foundation that's just like the most luxurious foundation you could ever make. And I think in the ad, she said it was gonna like retail, she would have to sell it for like $260 or something. So then she worked down from that, creating the Euphoria Date Night Foundation. I do think $48 is about the range of pricing that I pay for my foundations. So it wasn't like outrageous to me or like, uh, you know, drugstore type pricing where I'd go, wait a minute, how are you making a high-end foundation that's so luxurious like with, you know, drugstore pricing? So I feel like that price is right at the range that makes sense for the marketing. So this is supposed to be friendly for all skin types. Now I do have extremely dry skin and it's even more extremely dry because I am on low dose chemo. And so my skin is, it has troubles. It has more dry troubles now than it has in quite some time. 
So I'm really curious to see if this is friendly with my skin right now. The Euphoria Date Night Foundation comes in 15 flexible shades. I purchased the shade 180. This shade is neutral with warm undertones. Packaging is cute. Now I am personally not going to sleep in this, okay? But we are gonna do some tests that are similar. I am gonna take you with me in my bedroom, lay on my pillow with my full face of makeup for a few seconds and see if it transfers to the pillow or anything like that. I am not using a primer, they do sell a primer, but when you're paying higher prices, I feel like the performance of the product should perform the way it is described. And if I can wear this all night and sleep in it and supposed to be looking great in the morning, that's what I expect. I will also be showing you what this foundation looks like in natural day Light. It is really dark outside. It's almost winter, so it's really dark outside, but we'll see what it looks like outside of studio lighting and, uh, you know, get a good up close look at it. So I'm going to apply one side with the sponge for the skin tint like effect. They say one pump with a sponge or your fingertips is supposed to give you a skin tint effect. And then two pumps is supposed to be medium coverage and you're supposed to use a brush for medium coverage. All right, here we go. Let's see if this pump is controllable or not. I'm gonna do one pump and use half of that pump on half of my face to equal, you know, the one pump amount. Oh, come on. Okay, so that's one pump. And it is really, it's thicker than I thought it would be. That is interesting. I think this will be my shade match. Now I'm just warming it up on the back of my hand. Let's see. I'm gonna apply it to this side of my face. Let's zoom in. So this is supposed to be for light coverage, just one pump. And I'm actually probably gonna go through this whole pump on this side of my face. Okay, I don't know if this is just such a good shade match or it's like absolutely disappearing into my skin, but I'm like not seeing it. And my skin is really dry, but my skin is really good right now. So I'm not having any breakout issues or like immune rash issues. Okay. <laughs> I'm like concerned because that looks so good. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. I did purchase this off of their website, the Euphoria website, but it is also available on Credo. So I will link both places in the info box below. Okay, this is with the no coverage. You can still see some redness, discoloration, my freckles. This side with the sponge with one pump. I'm like, this is weird. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do one two pumps, okay, and I'm gonna work from there with my Gabby Rose Face Master Brush and just build up the coverage as I go. I am like, where did the foundation go? Let's do it with the brush and let's see. We'll see probably more with the medium coverage. Now, this is where my rooster attacked me, so that's kind of like still healing pink kind of scarring right there. We could see if it's true medium coverage like that for sure. And no, everybody's like asking me like, oh, are you gonna get rid of your rooster that attacked you? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm just changing the relationship I have with Meredith. And for those of you who are newer to the channel, we bought our chickens as chicks. So we didn't know that she was a rooster. So her name's Meredith and that's just, that's her name. And I still say her because that's, <laughs> maybe that's why she attacked me. She's like, I'm the man of the house, so what are you what are you talking about? Um, but no, I'm not getting rid of Meredith. I'm just not going out there and trying to pick her up and cuddle her like we used to do. I'm respecting her space a little more as a grown man. <gasps> okay, I have this much left on the back of my hand. That's two pumps, so I could see going in for the rest of my face. I'm, okay. Can you guys see the line of demarcation? I wish you could answer me in real real time. I do have a line of demarcation, so I'm just gonna go ahead and press that in with my sponge in any areas that I feel. I'm like not seeing it on my skin. I'm not seeing this foundation on my skin. And I do have glaucoma, but girl, I could still see some, some dusties and crusties with some foundations. Usually I get like a, a buildup around my nose cause it's dry and my chin cause it's dry. I can see the line of demarcation on my forehead. Okay, so this is the side with the brush. It's definitely medium coverage. I didn't use the, the two pumps. This side with the sponge is definitely light coverage with one pump. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of this with my sponge on this side of my face just to even out the coverage so we don't look too crazy for the rest of the day. And I'm just gonna apply this where I need it. You're supposed to be able to build this up. So let's see. And I don't want that line 
because I don't, I want to give this foundation the best shot possible. All the shit talking aside about sleeping in it, if that wasn't the marketing, I'd be like, fine. I'd be, wouldn't say a word. I just personally don't like that because it's like, are there nights where people sleep in their makeup? Yes. Some people sleep in their makeup way too much. And uh, you got fragrance and all of that stuff just sitting on your skin, aging you. My skin does look like glass. Okay, you guys, I'm, I'm a little blown away. So if it weren't for that marketing, I wouldn't really have a complaint. What? And this shade match is like the match. Okay, let's zoom in even closer. Maybe you guys can see what I'm missing, but this looks insane to me. Okay, so this is where I normally get build up, especially around my chin. It starts looking like I could see my pores here and the dryness, I'm not seeing that. So like I said in the beginning of the video, this was one of the most interesting products that I have heard about in makeup, in beauty. And I was wondering if it would be the most interesting I've ever tried. It might be, it might be. This is like virtually other than the glass-like finish and glow it's giving me, this might like be like virtually invisible. And you guys know, if you've been watching me, I get a lot of dryness through here. You can still see my skin's texture, whatever, I'm 35. This is insane to me right now. Did I just stumble upon like the best foundation I've ever tried in my entire life? We don't know yet. <laughs> we still got all day to lay on the pillow, see what it looks like in natural daylight and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup. I will see how this sits on my skin and we'll be back. What is going on? Have you guys tried this? I, I gotta go. All right, you guys, we are back and ready to go over some points of the Euphoria Date Night Foundation. Now, I've had this on for a few hours now because I not only am filming this video, I'm filming some other videos and doing some other work throughout the day. I do wanna say this side, this strip lash here is not wanting to stick to my eye today. I haven't worn false lashes in I don't know how long. For one, been sick for two, did a lash lift. So I haven't really like thought about wearing fake lashes, but this one is not wanting to stick. So if you see gapping, that's why I am sorry for myself and for you. But anyway, so I had a lunch break, got some other work done. You guys tell me, we're about to zoom in, we're about to go outside, we're about to lay on a pillow, and we are about to see if this foundation is truly probably one of the best foundations I've ever tried. I'm 35 and I look in the mirror and I see almost like a 25 year old myself. Ready? Now, I applied the rest of my makeup. This is not powdered down. I have an under eye corrector and a concealer on. Minimal highlight, just a little blush. Cream bronzer, that's it. I didn't want to, you know, layer my face with a bunch of different products and that could potentially powder this down and lengthen its life or make it look better. There's no setting spray. Like I said, it's been a couple hours. I don't think I have used a foundation that has looked this good in my 30s like ever. Now it could look like trash in natural light and we have beautifully placed studio lights, like perfectly professionally placed studio lights. So I wanna see what this looks like outside, but I see other foundations under these lights. They don't look like this. Uh, this is truly a like show stopping, holy crap moment for me in my makeup artist content creation life. I have to know if you have tried this foundation, if you have dry skin, oily skin, combo skin, what is your skin type? Have you tried this? Am I the only one talking about this? Am I the only one that has seen these Instagram ads? Anyway, again, so far still, the only negative I could say about this foundation is the marketing about sleeping in it. Honestly, I wanna see if it transfers to my pillow. So we'll go outside, we'll go in the bedroom, lay down, see what happens. But here we are up close. This is usually a major problem area for me with larger pores. I have a light dusting of setting powder underneath my eyes. That's it. This is a huge problem area for me. Again, this is the side that we applied the foundation with the sponge. This is the side we applied with the brush. Again, this is usually my problem area in between my eyebrows. I'm honestly not seeing one aspect of this that I don't like. It's giving my face a very beautiful, natural glow. It is glass-like to me. So let's head outside and see what this looks like. 
because so far it's at the top for me. At the top, best $40 I've spent in a very long time. The weather has graced us with some sun. It's pretty wild. What's also wild is this foundation. What? I don't understand. First, I'm blown away. You guys have to comment and let me know what your thoughts are. But if this foundation is possible by a, like a new brand, like a brand that didn't exist and that someone just was like, why aren't foundations better? Why haven't other brands given us a foundation like this? Like it's like beautiful, but it's also upsetting. <laughs> Does that make sense? I mean, okay, I'm 35, I have fine lines, larger pores. That's my rooster that attacked me that I'm not getting rid of. I don't think a foundation has ever looked this good on my face early. My little Kit Kats are out here, my two kittens. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. We're gonna go lay down and hopefully this doesn't transfer to a pillow because then that just definitely alters the can you, you know, sleep in it thing. Earl, you want to be in my video? Mr. Earl, oh, now I can look as young and beautiful as you. Your face is messy. What have you been getting into? Many things. Are you enjoying the weather, bud? If you don't know, I rescued Earl from the old house I used to live at, the neighborhood. There's like such a cat problem. So many cats and kittens are born and then people like put them in their houses and then they like let them out like after a month and then they just like keep having kittens. So I rescued Earl and Agnes. He's got this sweet boy. Agnes, okay. He's getting older so he's just like, he's like he kind of wants my attention but is also like too cool for me. This is a foundation review. All right, if you would like to see more of that type of content, you can join the channel members and watch my vlogs. Let's go lay down on a pillow. But before that, look at my Miss Agnes. Isn't she a model? He's such a model. Again, way too cool for me now that they're basically teenagers. Agnes, look, show your beautiful face. Isn't she so pretty? She's such an aesthetic girl. She's pushing so hard away from me. Are you too cool for me now? Okay, back to the, let's go lay down. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's lay down and see if my face transfers to my pillow. Let's pretend. You know, cause it's safe to sleep in this foundation. But again, if you're wearing foundation, aren't you wearing a full face of makeup or let me let me ask this question is this foundation so good that you would want to put this on before bed all right so if this as you can see clean clean white and cream very you know expensive target sheets let's see sleeping sleeping moving moving i don't want to like ruin it you know, because we have like an all day thing. I'm not working out because I'm still really sick. Um, so there's not going to be like a workout wear test, but here. Rub, rub, rub. Let's see. I don't even see my other makeup products, to be honest. You guys let me know. I mean, I have glaucoma, but that looks like a clean pillowcase to me. Nope. I see a little makeup, but here's the thing. You see that? There's like a, like a line here with a little line right there of makeup but here's the thing i do have cream bronzer on and other products that to me looks like bronzer you guys tell me can you see it a little bit of a line right there that's i mean it's barely visible but dang look at this foundation and just like room lighting i really like it thumbnail <laughs> All right, you guys, it is the end of the night. I have had this foundation on now for 13 hours. Yeah, it is not the next day. It's not a freshly applied layer of foundation. I don't know what in the world makes this foundation so special, <laughs> but I have not tried a foundation that I have been this blown away by in my 30s, period. I don't think there is not one area of my skin I'm not happy with. Earlier tonight, I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh no, my face is getting dry. It's because I was eating chips. I took a little snack break and ate some chips and I had like chip crust on my chin and I thought it was dry skin and it wasn't, and it wasn't. Um, so I just kind of dusted that off lightly but I actually even went Thanksgiving grocery shopping today, okay? So imagine stress, imagine sweat, imagine the people. You know what I mean? Like it's been a long, long day. This foundation has not budged, smudged, creased, settled in my pores 
my face looks fresh. Like now I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I need to sleep in this, like, like wash it off, put a layer on and like sleep in it and let you guys know how that goes. Maybe that might be a short or an Instagram reel or both and see how this wears. I'm blown away. Let's zoom in. I'm speechless. Like I, so many foundations make the claims that this one does. It doesn't crease, it doesn't crack, it's not cakey. It'll last for 24 hours, whoa. Transfer proof, all that. I really believe what transferred on my pillow was my cream bronzer because there's not one aspect of this foundation that has transferred on my cream hoodie here or transferred on my scarf that I wore grocery shopping. Let's zoom in. It's the end of the night. Now I have not taken my glasses off, so let's see if it transferred onto my nose pads. Maybe a little, but girl, I can't tell you how much foundation I have built up under these, these eyes today, okay? So that could be concealer. And actually my concealer looks like crap. I have been doing a lot of squinting. Anyway, this foundation, stunning, absolutely blew me out of the water. Look at my freaking skin, okay? If you're new, I've said this a million times in this video, but I am 35. To me, girl, when I look in the mirror, I go, oh, this is 25 year old skin that used to be like, ooh, you know, like I have large pores and like, no, not like you do now, girl. <laughs> not like you do now. Do you guys see this? If, okay. Forget foundations that I've tried, like best foundations I've tried in my 30s. Best ad I've ever fell for. Okay, you could see, like look at between my eyebrows. I would say the most texture is around my chin where I'm dry, but like you can barely tell. And I have eaten meals today, okay? I have kissed on my pets today. They have licked my face today, all right? I got cats, I got dogs, I got chickens, all right? We've spent time with all of them. Not that my chickens have been licking my face, but you know what I mean? Also, look at this, where Meredith attacked me, like I mentioned earlier. It looks fresh as a daisy, and it's been all day through all these stressful situations. And I've touched my face, I've blown my nose, I'm blown away. This is literally like, okay, so I got it on sale because they were having a sale, but if I would have spent eight more dollars, I think, no regrets, okay? This is the best foundation I have tried in my 30s and I am like, how is that possible, all right? I haven't, like I normally dermaplane, okay? I haven't dermaplaned in like two months. It's not like I don't have hair on my face, you know, and all that stuff and I just have like the best skin ever. Like I'm on chemotherapy right now and I'm dry AF and this is how my skin looks at the end of the day. I think you could probably sleep in this, minus the eye makeup, minus everything else that would cause issues. I think that the claims of this foundation alone being good for your skin, I think it's true <laughs> because my skin hasn't looked this good since I was like five years old. I'm blown away. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you are going to try this foundation. I'm like, about to message the brand because I'm so blown away. I loved the story. I thought it was so promising. I thought the claims were so promising, but I knew in the back of my mind, a lot of people make these claims. A lot of people have an inspiring story when they're a small brand, but turns out all of the claims of this, other than I haven't slept in it, are true. It is wild. So let me know, are you gonna try the Euphoria Date Night Foundation? How about Euphoria Change My Life Foundation? This is incredible. I'm 35, like I still can't grasp that. Um, this is amazing. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Have you tried this? Will you try this? The match is insane. Like I believe that the rest of the shades are this flexible, it's insane. So let me know, are you gonna try this? Have you tried this? I will have everything I've worn and mentioned in the info box below. Absolutely wild. Youthphoria Date Night Foundation. You completely blew my mind. Now, if I have any like change of mind after using this for a while, you guys will hear about this. So make sure you like this video. If you like my foundation reviews, it lets me know to do more of them, but subscribe so you don't miss an update. I am truly speechless on this one.
I mean, obviously I spoke for a long time in this review, but this is the most intense, insane foundation I've tried in my 30s. And I'm five years in, girl. I'm halfway there. <laughs> Round of applause. I'm blown away. So that's the end of this video. I look good. And I think you will too if you try this. So let me know if you do. Good night, you guys. I could go on and on. I'm so amazed. <laughs>